Hello, in this, in this short bit tutorial, I will show you how to use Android Studio's vector assets to add common useful icons to your app really quickly rather than having to go online and search for them, as shown over here. To get started, go to the Drawables folder under Resources on the left, right-click, hover over New, and select Vector Asset because that's what we're interested in adding, adding to our project. You can see over here we have a couple of options. To actually select an icon on the right of Clipart, there's this little rectangle. Click on it and you can see that it will load all the icons that we can use in our app. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and search for Home and select this Home icon. Um, a potential application of this would be if you wanted to create an app and have a an Home icon in the menu bar. So the user could tap on the icon and then go back to the home page of the app. This is where you could use this icon. And I'll be releasing a tutorial on how to add menu options to your menu bar in the Android app. But now that we've chosen this clipboard over here, this home icon, you can see we can also adjust the color. So we can drag around and play with it. I'll select this red and press choose. There are some other things we can adjust, such as uh, the opacity through the slider. And if you slide it all the way to 0%, it will be completely transparent. The last thing that we'll change is the name of this icon. So right now it will save it as IC Baseline Home 24. Instead of saving it as that, I want to name this file Home Icon. So that's going to be the name of this clip art. When we click Next, you can see that it'll show us it will save it underneath the Drawables folder. And I'll press Finish because that's where it should be. And almost immediately you can see that we have this Home Icon.xml file with the Home Icon over here and the code as well. And now we can directly use this icon inside of our app. So if I created an image view, for example, I can set the Android source um, attribute to be at drawable. And then you can see home icon is an option. And if you look in the design tab over here, it is showing this home icon that we have at the center of our app. So this is how you add vector assets to your Android Studio project so that you can use these icons in your app. I hope you found this useful. And as always, subscribe to stay tuned when future tutorials come out and happy developing from IJ Apps.